is the thing that's disturbing me about Fair Total War. Right now, I'm seeing that there is content being made for the game, but the enthusiasm has died down a little bit, and that enthusiasm has died down not because of any ne really anything negative, but because of the fact that Creative Assembly have kind of just decided that Total War Pharaoh is pretty much finished at this point and they'll be moving on to new projects, which is completely understandable and is completely fine. But at the very same time, I feel as if we need just some more content. Maybe a Mythos DLC. Maybe an Iron Age expansion with the Assyrians, because that seems to be the next logical step. Or maybe we could go back to the rise of Sumer. We could go back to the rise of Uruk. We could go back to the rise of the Bronze Age itself. I feel as if there's some content that is missing for this game. Not in terms of, let's say it's really needed, like Mesopotamian Greece was, need, was really needed. That's great. That's fantastic. They did a fantastic job. And, you know, I will still say that Total War of Pharaoh right now can stand as a strong and independent historical Total War title right now. Now, I know what others will say about the Mythos mode, but hear me out. Age of Mythology is already coming out around let's say august 28 that is if you get advanced early access right it seems like a reinvention on the game i like the game but you know i wish the graphics would have been a bit more upgraded a bit more like pharaoh to be honest and at the same time i still think total war could make a massive profit with the mythos dlc i think the mythos dlc could provide a civilization clash royale on the style of Total War graphics that I have not seen anywhere else. You could have the Assyrians with their Lama Sus, you could have the Egyptians with their Sphinx and their mummies and their Goswais. You know, the more I go into it, the more people will say, no, I just want historical. And I fully get that. But Mythos would be a separate mode. It wouldn't even affect your historical campaign. I think that if you want this game to completely finish if you want this game to be completely done i have to say that we need something that is a substantial mythos dlc if that was the last dlc for this game i would 100 percent accept it but at the same time we could get more unique battle maps there was when i was talking with the devs in the forums they were saying that, that there was a battle map planned for asa for the actual capital city of Nirvana, but they had to scrap it because they thought, why not, let's just make some uh, generic set of maps. So that would be a much more better use of their time. And that really sucks because we could be getting a playable battle map of Knossos, even though Knossos really is not existing during this time. I think that we need to figure out what is it that we want at the end of the day. We could get more playable battle maps. This game could have a longer lifespan than... Warm itself. We could be getting new civilization. We could be getting new factions. We could be getting more and more. But at the same time, it all depends on what the community wants, on what Creative Assembly wants. It depends on what you guys want. As for me, I think Creative Assembly shouldn't abandon Sophia just yet. I think they should at least update it with the last patch so that they address a lot of the AI issues because. The game does suffer from the campaign AI being too passive. I think that's something that needs to be worked on. I do think that they could extend the family tree far more. They could make it more so that as a family member, you can go and get rid of a rival family member you don't want. I think they can do something like that here. But I have to say, it was the Total War community that really, really loved this update. I think C.A. Sophia did a brilliant, brilliant job. We got legacies, family trees, marriages, a new city map of Babylon, but it does suck that it's the only new one. And we were going to get civilians, but that was scrapped due to age ratings. And we would have had a playable map of Assur, but they decided to go for a variation of, as I've said. But what do you as a community want to see for this game? I don't think there will be any more big updates, but if there was, 
I think that we would at least want an historical DLC, maybe a Mythos DLC at the very end or something, but I just want to know what you guys want. Because I would love an expansion into the Indus Valley. I would like to go into a Wars of the Diadochi campaign or maybe the Collapse of the 5th Century. I would perhaps like to expand and forge your own path so more civilizations get their own paths. I would like all of these opportunities, these DLCs. But here's the thing, most of these DLCs would expand beyond the game scope. At the same time, the Indus Valley is not that far off. I think that could be added. You could add in a bit more alarm as well. But here's what I'm saying, Creative Assembly. Don't give up on Total War Pharaoh. It's a really fantastic game right now. The strategy and tactics that you have to use for each faction, where you have to adapt to different playstyles, it reminds me of Warhammer. And we've come this far. Abandoning this game now would just not make any sense. It wouldn't make any sense because there's some DLC that needs to be added, some balancing, some more campaign map changes, and you already still have a much better player count of what you had previously. If you love this game, you want more DLC, perhaps let's give them the benefit of the doubt and tell me in the comment section down below what DLC you want, right? I want to know what DLC we could have. But let's accept that there is no DLC. Let's accept that this game is going to, you know, finish as it is. I still want a substantial patch that will fix many of the AI issues. And I just want to know, guys, what is it that you want on Total War Pharaoh? Do you want the historical DLC? Do you want the Mythos DLC? Do you want the rebalance? What is it about Pharaoh right now that you want that needs to make it fully 100% great? I think it's, uh, it's already got there, but I would really want more unique city maps instead of generic ones, perhaps more siege escalation mechanics, perhaps civilians, perhaps more cinematic cutscenes, perhaps expansion into the Indus Valley. I want to know what you think. So what reasons can you give for continued development? What DLC would you want? Because I'm still urgent today. Don't give up on Total War Pharaoh just yet. I think there's still some stuff left in the works. I think we can make this into a great, great, even more greater game. But I really want to know what you guys think. You know, in another timeline, perhaps Pharaoh could have had more positive reception. He could have had a better launch. And I would love from 3K maybe... Maybe some more, uh, you know, infiltrating the courts or anything like that. But let's see what you guys think. Perhaps letting the Forger on Bath have any more options. But while there isn't any, I still want to know what you guys think. And let's discuss. I will respond to every comment in the comment section down below. And let's see what happens. So don't forget to leave a like, share, comment and subscribe. I will see you in the next video where we will be starting a Pharaoh narrative role playing campaign. And by the gods, it will be an epic, epic story.